OER, the five R's, and Creative Commons licenses. David Wiley wrote about the five R's of open when he published his original work defining the open in open content and open educational resources. His work was published with a Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 license. This means it can be used, and in this case, adapted and remixed, as long as we give credit to him for the original work. The five R's include retain, the right to make, own, and control copies of the content. Reuse, the right to use the content in a wide range of ways. Revise, the right to adapt, adjust, modify, or alter the content itself. Remix, the right to combine the original or revised content with other open content to create something new. Redistribute, the right to share copies of the original content, your revisions or your remixes with others. The 5R visual used in this video was created by the State University of New York's OER Services. The visual was shared using the same license David Wiley used. It too was used, adapted, and remixed, and the creator has been given credit. Creative Commons licenses often accompany open educational resources. The license associated with a resource guides which of the five R's of open you can engage in with regard to the resource. Adopt OER. Let's say you found a resource developed by someone else and it suits your objectives perfectly. You would like to start using it right away and you don't want to change a thing. You want to retain, reuse, and redistribute the work. All licenses require that you credit the original creator. With CC BY Attribution, that is all that is required of you, so it is the most open of all the licenses. CC BY SA means by attribution and share alike. In other words, you must credit the creator and share the resource as it was shared with you. Some licenses include ND, which means no derivatives. Others include NC, which means that the resource was not intended for commercial purposes or monetary compensation. Adapt OER. Now, imagine discovering an OER that has many of the elements you were looking for, but misses the mark on some others, so you are hoping that you can adapt it. You intend to modify, alter, customize, and change it. You get the idea. Lauren Anstey was the original creator of the video Adopt, Adapt, Create, which I adapted to make this video. YouTube allows users to mark their videos with a Creative Commons CC BY license, which is what Lauren did. Now, let's take the idea of Adapt a little bit further and say that during your search, you located a couple of other resources that would complement the adaptation of the original resource you found. So now it is your intention to embark on a remix of several open educational resources. You'll need to look for licenses that allow for all five R's because you want to retain an original, reuse parts of it, revise other sections, and remix elements of other resources with it. You intend to redistribute the revised and remixed works. In other words, you are going to share the resulting derivative work. You'll need to stay away from Creative Commons licenses that include ND, because ND stipulates that the work be passed along unchanged and in whole, no derivatives. And remember, when you see SA associated with an open resource, plan to share your derivative in the same way that the original was shared with you. Create OER. Now imagine you've searched and searched Creative Commons licensed resources and nothing suits you. You've decided to create new content. Your work will grow through your own expertise and intellectual engagement or through a collaboration with your students. When it is complete, you'll need to decide how your work will be shared by considering the following questions. Will you allow adaptations of your work? 
Do you want adaptations to be shared in the same way that you shared? Will you allow commercial uses for your work? Your answers will help you zero in on the right Creative Commons license for you. My choice for this video, CC by Attribution. For more information, visit creativecommons.org slash choose.